Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for MgNO32 plus NH3 plus H2O. We have magnesium nitrate here, and we have ammonia and water. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. There's a link in the description how to balance this equation if you need help. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So this one's a little bit tricky. We do know that nitrates are very soluble. So these two substances, very soluble. We also know that water's a liquid, so we're not going to split that apart. Ammonia, ammonia will be considered aqueous, but it's a weak base. So we're not going to split ammonia apart when we do this net ionic equation. So remember that even though it's aqueous, it's not a strong electrolyte. Hydroxides in general are insoluble. Magnesium hydroxide is insoluble. So these all react. This is a solid. It's going to be our precipitate, fall to the bottom of the test tube. So the key here, you need to recognize your precipitate and then recognize that ammonia, NH3, is a weak base. We're not going to split it apart, even though it dissolves, even though it's aqueous. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Remember, ammonia is a weak electrolyte. That looks like this. So once we have that complete ionic equation, we can split spectators apart. They're on both sides of the equation here. So I see I have two nitrates ions here in the reactants and again in the products. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out, but everything else is unique. We didn't split the ammonia apart. It's a weak base. It's a weak electrolyte. We didn't split the water apart. That's a liquid here. And we didn't split the solid, the magnesium hydroxide apart. Let me clean this up. We'll write the states and have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for MgNO32 plus NH3 plus H2O. Note that charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus on this side here in the reactants. And in the products, we have 2 times 1 plus. So that's 2 plus. So the charge is the same on both sides. It's conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for magnesium nitrate, ammonia, and water. Thanks for watching.